Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Part Time Adult. Thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Um, just for the record, I had no plans to shoot a video today at all. Um, but uh, today, obviously, a pretty pretty big day, so I felt like, why not? So I was just minding my own business, and I got a text from a friend of mine, thank you, John, saying that the, uh, the Derek Chauvin jury had come up, um, they uh, reached a verdict. And that they were going to deliver it within like the next like 40 minutes to an hour. And then just like everything froze. Like I just got on social media, putting out posts. Hey, just a heads up. You know, I emailed my, my, my coworkers. And, you know, I was just like locked in. And, you know, just anxiously waiting. Like I'm sure many people around the world. And, um, and uh, here comes the moment. And, you know, friends are texting and one of my friends is like, man, my nerves are just so bad. And another one's like, man, you know, just I hope that this means something good, considering that the jury kind of worked really quickly. And, you know, it just uh, took me back to, to that day. You know, obviously I knew like he was on trial and all that, but I just like I've just been living my life just working, just trying to be creative. And um, this kind of just just cut through all of that and just everything was just like focused on, on this. I'm watching the TV and uh, you know I made a bowl of oatmeal and I'm just like standing there just in my living room. And there was a part of me that I was like, okay, we're going to see this again. This, this movie that we've seen over and over and over again. And there was a small part of me, I'm not going to lie, that had some hope. Like, no, like this, this has to be the one. And... You know, because obviously we know that, you know, cops rarely, rarely get in trouble when, when, when they do something bad. That's, that's just ridiculous, ridiculous. And, you know, it just goes to show you that, that, that it, gets, it goes deep. It goes deep. So when they, when the judge read the, the verdict, I was just kind of like staring at the screen. And I, I was just like kind of stoic. But then as he kept asking the jurors, like, is this correct? And they kept saying, yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to lie. I started to, to tear up. And it just kind of snuck up on me. Like, like not really, but, but kind of. You know, I was just like there. My, my body did a thing. And then, you know, just like tears started coming out. And it was, it was pretty brief. And... Later on, when they were showing pictures of, you know, just people around the city, there was one picture that kind of brought those emotions back, and it was a picture of a gentleman kneeling on the floor. And, and I don't remember if he had, like, his fist in the air, so I, I don't remember. But that, that, that picture just kind of brought it back. Um, anyway, there's no real, no real point. There's nothing, you know about this video that's like like I don't have like a thing for this one I'm, I'm just talking to the camera um because I know that it's a really high uh emotional place where a lot of folks around the world are and um to people in other countries I just want to say thank you you know if anybody is from somewhere else uh thanks for just just kind of giving us a hug when we needed it and i'll be honest we've needed it for a long long time you know we we needed it hundreds of years ago um, but i know that there's other places in the world that that have their own thing so you know just uh this american guy um appreciates you you know thank you um because our, our country is and i'm not anti-america or nothing like that like this is my home i love it and everything uh, but we got problems man we got major, major problems, and it can be exhausting being American, to be honest. And again, I know there's other countries who are in worse shape, so I'm not. I'm not saying woe is me. You know, like we're obviously like a first world country. We're we're a global power. We have been for a very, very, very long time. But uh, you know, it's we 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 got our own struggles. We got our own struggles. And, uh, you know, to all those people around the world who were just, you know, just marching in the streets or they're, they're 
expressing themselves through art. Um, there's all types of stuff. Just just know that um, we see you and we appreciate you. Most of us. I can't say everybody, but, but a, a lot of us. I'll say a lot of us. We really appreciate you. Um, you know, whatever you're going through, you know, wherever you are in the world, I'm just I'm sending you a hug. You know, a dap, a strong dap, a dap and a hug. And, uh, yeah, you know, today today was a, um, a big day. A big day. It's a day that, that is going to be, you know, it's going to go down in history now. Obviously, we have to wait for the sentencing um, to see just how long, you know, uh, Mr. Chauvin is going to, gonna go sit down for um but yeah so like i said i don't really have much but i do want to ask you um how are you doing uh how you feeling are you are you up are you down are you you know are you celebrating are you like hey at least this is, this is a step like we finally got something we got a, a, a bite of something um you know i know some people they automatically brought up amber geiger and you know the whole Botham Jean case, and you know she got ten years. She's gonna serve less than ten. You know, judges hugging her and all types of stuff. Um, but yeah, feel free to just put your thoughts down in the comments. You know, if you just want to get it out, I'm down, I'm down to chat if you are. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get this out because we we we're, we're we're feeling it. We're feeling it. You know, and this isn't. Uh, uh, we're not talking about, you know, whether or not George Floyd was a hero or anything like that. George Floyd was a man who had his, he had his issues, just like you have your issues, I have mine. Everybody has their own issues. Nobody's saying that he was like this perfect guy, but he should not have died. And that's what we're here, uh, for, you yeah. know, and, uh, like they said in the, in the trial, like that was not policing. That was not policing. That was that was murder, that was murder. So, yeah, and I I just hope that we can uh, start to make some progress. I feel like this is a step in the right direction, and uh, yeah, because the the system is just. Some people would say it's broken. Some people would say no, it's working exactly the way it was designed to work. And uh, I'm not anti-cop at all. I'm anti-bad cop. Absolutely. Just like I'm not anti-teacher, but I'm anti-bad teachers. You know, we need we need cops, and there are plenty of good cops. And I've 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 worked with with a lot of them. Just in, in my line of work, you know, there's a good chance you're gonna call a cop at, w at one point. And uh, I've worked with some really great ones. And there've been a couple. I'm just like, yeah, I don't really care for that that person <laughs> all that much. Um, hopefully, they're not the ones who come out uh, next time we're uh, we're we're in need. Uh, of assistance but most of them have been um have been all right but just the the underlying system it's 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 really really ugly and dirty and there's a lot of people in there who are just don't need to be in there and i, I believe the majority of cops are good i do i really do but it's just like our country our foundation is it's it's built on on contaminated soil you know and again i'm not anti-american i don't i don't hate this country or nothing like that but man it, we got our our we're broken we're broken and it's um it's uh i think becoming more evident to some people some people have known for a very long time and some people have just been really, really ignorant, or they've just kind of been like in their own bubble, and they don't see it, or they don't care because it's not happening to them. But uh, yeah, like our, our the foundation has been broken since day one. Like our, we, our 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 society has never not been broken. You know, it's it was founded on just pure evil, pure evil, pure, pure, pure evil. You know, and. Uh, you know, I just I think about just some of the history from obviously from slavery and you know the the you know just the, just the slave trade in 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 the South and obviously the Na Native Americans like this is this is their house like we in their house you know and there's very few of them left you know 
and I, I don't hate any groups of people at all. So I don't want this to seem like, oh, I'm anti this person, or I'm anti that person. I'm anti bad person, regardless of where you're from, regardless of what, what you look like. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's another video. I hope you're doing well or as well as possible. If you uh, if you need somebody to talk to, man, just re reach out. I'm not saying necessarily. I mean, you can reach out to me if you want to, but I'm, I mean, just reach out to somebody. You know, text a friend, call a friend. I, uh, you know, always recommend, you know, to my, my coworkers, you know, if, if you need to talk to a professional, like uh, where I work, we have what's called a employee assistance program where you could like reach out to like a counselor and, you know, you can do so several times for free and anonymously. So you, you can check to see if your job has that. Um, yeah, just re reach out to somebody, do some self-care stuff, whether that's making YouTube videos, which is self-care for me, um, draw, write in your journal, go exercise, go cook something, do something, even if it's playing video games, even though you know you play too much already, but, uh, yeah, take care of yourself, because obviously this year has been one for the books and it's you know just a continuation of last year which was obviously a kick in the teeth and I don't know what the rest of 2021 holds but you know just make sure you take care of yourself tell your folks you love them and uh, tell, your, tell your team that you appreciate them and uh, yeah so all, my, all my, my loved ones and friends I love you all um, I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. So I don't want anybody to think hey, like I'm, I'm 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 okay. But you can call or text if you want. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, take care of yourself and uh, rest in peace to George Floyd and rest in peace to just man, just everybody, man, just everybody. Anyway, part-time adult. Thanks for watching. Be good. Peace.